This video is not sponsored by anyone because we are launching Canbong. Set these lights up. Well, they were on sale, and I mean, people want to see a video like this. Dude, this better be good. Google, turn lights on. Call me crazy, call me whatever you want, but I literally stripped everything to create a budget version of how to light your desk setup. And to be honest, I have no regrets. That's my credo, no regrets. You see, even though the amount of money I spent creating this video was quite significant, the goal was to buy all of the Govi products I could find so I could showcase what you could do with budget items to allow you all to choose which lighting set fits your budget better. For a total of $600 Canadian, I was able to get a couple of Govi bulbs, some Govi light bars, a table lamp, an LED strip, a glide wall light, and a nice floor lamp, which was literally the most expensive item on this list. The floor lamp box is pretty big and has some weight to it. The unit does have some assembly required, but once everything is out of the box, putting it all together is nothing too complicated. These small metal pieces were used so I could interconnect all the rods to create the whole pole where your LED strip will be placed in, but before sticking the LED in there, I had to attach the whole rod pole into the base. It was super easy to connect the LED connector at the bottom of the rod, but then it required me to stretch its silicon tubing so I could gently push it into the grooves of the tower. For the price, it's super well done and the LED strip is super nice and flush to the tubing. This does come with a cool 3M taped controller with an integrated mic to turn it on and off, but note that all the lights here can be controlled by the Govi app, including these awesome wall lights, which is the coolest product here. In this box, there are six long plastic sections that can be paired up with up to four corner pieces. They were extremely easy to set up by just snapping the pieces together and making sure the connector sat at the end of a piece. They do recommend you put the whole thing together prior to mounting it to make sure all the bars work. I'm just not quite sure if these tapes are 3M but they do have two sticky pads per two. This also made me wonder, do the LED strips come with 3M tape? Well, in this box you get two LED rolls of 5 meters each with a controller at the end of both strips. It also came with a DC adapter but interestingly enough, some sticky brackets to reinforce the strips to the desk, meaning that the strip did come with 3M tape itself. Just like the Govi light bars which are very similar to the Hue bars in the sense that they not only come with stands but they also come with 3M tape brackets to stick to the back of your monitor per se. This kit of course came with two light bars, a microcontroller to connect the LED bars to, and of course the transformer. Out of all of them, this was definitely the coolest packaging unlike the bulbs which are just, I mean literally a couple of bulbs in a box. I did get this awesome little aura table lamp to try a few things out which is the last item on this budget lighting setup. The packaging is super simple, it comes with a smart home controller with a power brick and of course the actual light which is bigger than I thought it would be. Now with everything out of the box, lighting a setup takes time, mostly because you need to plan when it comes to routing cables and lighting placement to fill every dark corner. In other words, you want the lighting to be as even as you can throughout the whole table. For starters, the main concern I had was how do I get around our canvases, which by the way I will be releasing them this week, I will leave a link in the description down below and use code ANDROSOFF to be the first 1000 people to get 15% off. I hope you enjoyed the new website and our new hall of fame drop. Leave a hashtag catvog if you've signed up to the newsletter. Eventually I figured out how to place the wall lights and I decided to bring these canvases to life by forming an L shape around them. To maximize cable management I did 
let's take the controller closer to the desk itself and use my clock to hide this long white cable and connect the end to its brick. I decided to bring in my old little gantry desk lamp so I could pair it with one of the bulbs as well as use the second bulb as my flank light behind the PC. I didn't particularly think the lighting wouldn't be even on any of the desk corners but just in case I did find myself placing the Eura table lamp as a filler light. Just be careful because this does need a wire to function so you need to place it near the edges to route the cables and hide the controller as much as you can. Some product cables were easier to hide and this includes the light bars. The trick here is to stick these behind the monitor vertically as close as you can from each other. This will create even light behind the monitor covering a larger area. Using the monitor arms to route these cables is the trick here or using some type of void spaces like I did for the lighter floor lamp works as well. I did wish the base was a bit taller and thicker to hide the mess behind it, but the lighting this produces should create enough of a distraction to neglect that mess. I wanted to point this to the gray wall to create a cool backdrop color effect, but honestly, I think it's way better to use it as a light bar decorator to really make it pop. My only concern with all of these products come from the LED strips. You see, with budget LED strips, you need to be careful because a lot of them produce dotted effects on the walls. I did decide to mount this differently because of the fact that this unit comes with two strips, but before doing so, because both strips connect to the same unit, I needed to cut them. They are about 5 meters each so I needed to chop these up to a total of around 3 meters for the first strip and 2.5 meters for the second strip. The goal was to wrap the first strip around the table edges to create even lighting everywhere and I had the idea of sticking the second strip to the bottom of the table to bounce lighting on the floor. I thought it was a good idea to buy a separate power strip to connect all the lights on it. Just know that if your desk spans a total of 2.5 meters like mine, you might want to place this bar towards the middle. I think it's the best way to make all of your lights super modular for when you want to change things around. Setting them all up is nothing too complicated. For starters, I recommend using the Govi app to get all of this done. You can use the remotes most of these items came with, but the trick here is to have everything on the app. Plus, connecting these lights via Bluetooth on the Govi app is incredibly easy. Most of the time, the app will automatically find it for you. You can then name it, connect it to your 2.4 GHz network and upgrade its firmware. All of the products basically have the same setup routine. The Lara is actually extremely impressive because the whole tube can be colored by sections. It also happens to deliver over 40 preset animation effects that Govi put together. Although I found myself liking the sunset glow the most in order to match my theme and the desktop wallpaper. Moving to the top of the desk, just like the Lyra lamp, this glide wall light has some awesome effects as well. And yes, it's called glide because the colors actually glide super well along the bar. I rather set this to a gridding color to give it the same look like the wallpaper, but if you'd rather to have it set to a static color, you can also do so. As for the light bars, I decided to stick to static colors for each, one of them being beige and the other one red. But interestingly enough, they do emit gradients individually and it's awesome to see the brightness peaking at around 400 lumens, a bit less than the Hue Play bars. Towards the left of the monitor, the Aura lamp lives for now. It is awesome to see that it has physical buttons instead of touch sensitive ones, but to be honest, regardless of that, I like keeping it all on the app. It does get extremely bright and can display multiple colors at the same time. Like the other products, it has cool effects, but I keep this on a single static color since we are towards the end of the setup. When it comes to the light strips and bulbs, well, they work exactly as I expected. Outputting around 800 lumens for each individual bulb and around 1100 lumens for the LED strip itself, which is not as bright as the other strips. And don't worry, even though the light strip comes in at 50 Canadian dollars, luckily enough, they don't produce this ugly dotted effect on the setup wall. Plus, they have built-in IC chips to be able to create awesome gradient effects. Automation-wise, all of these lights do come together quite nicely on the app. They all offer a music effect that can be synced via the microphones located on the controllers. UI-wise, each light works the same where you can adjust the brightness, create a timer, and adjust the modes. The music modes, in my opinion, are absolutely awesome and way better than what other brands have to offer. You can adjust the mic sensitivity using the slider. To get the best results, I do recommend keeping the slider all the way to the right to max out the sensitivity. I did have a blast with the dynamic mode on the rhythm since it produced a nice and aggressive flash with the music. 
music. Energetic is quite awesome because it glides the lights quite well over the devices, but if you want more of a waveform, you can use separation to match the flow of the music. I'm not a fan of the bounce effect, so I didn't find myself testing it too much. When it comes to the colors, for the strips, you do get segments of lights to modify each section if you enable gradients, but for things such as the bulbs, light barbs, the floor lamp, and the aura, they all have their own little UI to change the colors. Super intuitive UI when it comes to changing colors, but if you are somewhat lazy like me, you can always head to scenes and choose whatever you please from there. The app overall does allow you to put all of your lights in a dedicated room, but it doesn't seem to allow me to control them all as one. Although the app has so much to offer depending on the product, there is a DIY mode where you can create your own custom patterns and colors, a camera recognition feature to allow you to match any color you wish to replicate, and even features such as connecting your lights to Google Assistant. I am extremely happy with how good and similar the setup turned out compared to the previous expensive products we had. It truly shows that with budget products, you can get things to look awesome. This video was not sponsored by Govi and they also never sent anything to me. I was super skeptical about them at the beginning, but honestly, I think these are worth a try. Hopefully, it gives you an idea of how you can light your desk setup with a smaller budget and remember, you don't need to buy all of the items in here. That's my job, so you guys can pick and choose what suits you the most. I'm signing out, see you all soon.